Happy New Year, everybody. Jedi Jack Luther here. And no, Bill Cosby's nowhere to be found. And I thought he would be here, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. For this is the first What's in the Box for 2014. And once again, I'm your host, Jedi Jack Luther. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to forget the holiday special. Oh, my gosh. The only thing worse than that was the Star Wars holiday special. I couldn't have even improved on that. And B. Arthur was nowhere to be found. So here it is. It's a Friday night. And I don't know why it's always a Friday night. But who cares? It's a Friday night. It's the 17th of January in good old 2014. It's what's in the box. And you can't beat it because we got a box. Holy cow. Yep, here we go. You know, we're going to start off the new year. Got to start off right. And you got to start with the box. Now, you need to stay with me as long as you can because this is fantastic. Let me tell you, I got something nice in here. And believe it or not, nothing wrestling related. I got a friend... Jennifer, she posted something on my Facebook. I hope it's not John Cena. Well, guess what? It's not John Cena. I've got enough John Cena. I think everyone has it. If you have one John Cena figure, you have enough John Cena figures. So let's just going to rip into the spot. Oh, oh, using my Huey Lurkian Fat Albert strength. And we have decimated the box. That's okay. Because it's not save the box. What's in the box? And, 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 of course, we're revisiting history. Look what they put it in. A bubble mailer to boot. But for protection, so I understand that. So let's rip into the bubble mailer. And here we go. All right. Now, if I've had a lot of people ask me, where do I get my name from? Jedi Jack Luther. Well, the first part should be no surprise. I do love Star Wars. I'm a big Star Wars fan. Love the movies. I'll even deal with the prequels. I mean, I'm just on that level. But... That's where it came from. And then the other parts, I have a friend in North Carolina, Jack, really nice guy. Man, he told you like it was. So he was pretty tough. And Luther comes from Let's Luther, the villain from Superman. And it's just, I just bound them all together, just kind of amalgamate them into one phrase. So I am a Star Wars fan. Even though I don't see a lot of Star Wars come through here, there hasn't been a lot because now Luke has sold it to Disney and we have to deal with it. But, the new thing out are these 6-inch figures in the Black Box series. And they're really detailed, they're really articulated, they come with a bunch of accessories. I know you've seen them out there, and they cost about 20 bucks. And this one was no different. I just happened to have money in PayPal that offset that $20. But, if you know me, you already guessed which figure I got. And I know there's only 8 out there, so it wouldn't be too hard. But some people are thinking, oh, he probably got Darth Maul, because that's a cool looking figure. Or he might got Han Solo, you know, Rogue Scallion and everything like that. Nope. I went with what I know best. And what I know best, shabam, Slave Leia. This is the 6-inch, well, not quite 6-inch. They're kind of in scale with each other. So Leia is not as tall as, like, Han and Luke and stuff. But this is, like, the almost 6-inch Slave Leia figure from the Black series. This is a very nice-looking figure. All the figures are nice. Don't get me wrong. But at 20 bucks, eh, budget-wise, and I got to run the show. So we're limited in what we can do. But still, this is very this is a very nice figure. I, I'm a big Slave Leia fan. And you really don't have to ask why. I mean, come on, guys. It's, it's Carrie Fisher in a bikini. I mean, what little kid growing up hit Return of the Jedi, they saw Carrie Fisher in that bikini, and all of a sudden they're like, wow. They went from, oh, girls are disgusting, to holy cow, look at that. I mean, their eyes just are, you know, and there you go. But yeah, we picked this one up. Um, and I, I can't say I got a deal, but I got for the nineteen ninety nine, and I had money in PayPal, so I didn't pay out of pocket that much for it. But I didn't save really any money either. I mean, it's just a matter of where my money was. Uh, what I really like about the figure is they they really got the details right on this one. I mean, she's got the little chain thing. She's got two staffs, so you can pick which staff you want to put in her hand. No pun intended. And uh, you got a fabric skirt. 
really, I mean, a lot of articulation. She can, you know, pose in all the positions. If you had a big, you know, uh, desert skiff, you put her on that or on the big boat or whatever job I had. But um, I would really love to collect all of them. Um, Darth Maul is gone. You can't find him. You find him Darth Maul in the store. Let me give you a tip. You see the Darth Maul in this box in the Black Series for 20 bucks. you better pick it up. Because I've seen reviews on it. It's a gorgeous figure. And I have not even seen Boba Fett. And that one is on my list as well. I'd love to have a Boba Fett. But um, she is actually not hard to find. Don't think, oh my God, Slave Leia, and I have to run around and try to... No. She's not that hard to find. She's relatively easy to find. In fact, I've been to several stores, and there's like three or four of them all over the place in every store I've been to. Not hard to find. So she's not evidently not a, a big favorite. But um, I have Slave Leia collection of my own in, in a little box, and this is a perfect addition to it. So that was what was in the box. So for January 17th, 2014, starting a new year, I had a great birthday. You should see this giant polar bear I want on my birthday. I'm not, okay, real quick before I go. I, I don't want to ramble, but real quick. Um, what it was, it was at where I work. They were having a contest. She bought two 20-ounce Coke products. Write your name on the receipt. Stick it in the box. My life revolves around boxes, by the way. Stick it in the box, and they're going to pull the name of the winner on my birthday. And I thought, what the hey? I mean, it's just kind of funny that it's on my birthday. So I get a call while I'm at work. Hey, you won the bear. I about flipped it. Couldn't believe it. So now I have this giant Coca-Cola polar bear in my in my living room. I'll put him on Luther's loot one day. You'll get to see how big this thing is. I mean, it's just like, it's almost like a chair you could sit in. It's so big. It's huge. It's ginormous. So, but had good holidays. Hope everyone else did. It's New Year. So our first what's in the box. I'm very happy. That's nice. That's beautiful. That's a good way to start the year. A woman in a bathing suit is always a good way to start the, the new year. Um, and now I'm going to get some females to marry. Oh my God, who's being sexist? It's no, 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 no. Um, I'm just saying, you know, this is a good way to start a new year by getting, you know, a, my first Black Series figure for my collection. And I hope there's many more. So, hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You'll never know what's going to pop up on here. Um, put in your comments, anything you want to see, anything I'm doing, you don't want me to do. Do you not want me to talk about the cocoa bear? We can do that too. Um, you just want me to come in here. Hey, here's a box, rip it open. There you go. And then leave. Well, we'll talk about that. But everyone take care. Have a great weekend. I will see you later on the flip side. When we ponder once again, that age old question that they wrote in the pyramids, you know, billions of years ago, Hey, what's in the box?